Telewanda has a new chapter of Diversity Club. If you enjoy talking about current events, want a safe space to vent, or like to do volunteer work, you should consider joining. Contact Landon Knepp or Ms. Morris at the supplied emails. Are you concerned that your student will not be featured in the yearbook? Not to fear. Please visit this site and enter this ID. The deadline to submit underclass photos is January 29th, and the deadline to submit senior photos is March 5th. Setting Stone Literary Arts Magazine was just awarded a gold medal honor from the Columbus Scholastic Press Association for its 2019-2020 magazine. Additionally, Setting Stone was awarded two Gold Circle Awards from CSPA for layouts within the magazine. The magazine was de developed between the months of March and August of 2020 by a group of four core Setting Stone members. Other members helped select submissions in the previous months. Talawanda's Project Green and Key Clubs joined forces this past Sunday to continue clearing a walking trail in our natural areas. If you're interested in joining us next time, please send an email to Mr. Ruther or Mrs. Ruther. The total number of COVID-19 cases in the United States has surpassed 20.9 million, with around 354,000 deaths, as emergency rooms and ICUs have been overwhelmed in an attempt to manage the raising cases Many medical professionals are looking to the new vaccine to help ease the stress on hospitals and their staff. The vaccines made by Pfizer and Biotech are in the early stages of being distributed across the country. 15.6 million vaccine doses have already been distributed in the U.S., though only 4.5 million doses have been given to people. Almost 200,000 doses have been given in the state of Ohio. The first tier of priority encompasses frontline healthcare workers and nursing home staff. The second tier prioritizes citizens aged 65 and older, along with essential workers such as first responders and agriculture and transportation workers. Yet another kink in the progression of COVID-19 is the spread of a new strain of the virus. New strains occur as a result of gene mutations, which in the case of COVID-19 has made these new strains more contagious. Despite spreading more easily, it doesn't appear to be any more deadly than those already seen, and professionals believe the current vaccine should be just as effective against the newer mutations. It's important to stay informed and updated on the facts of the coronavirus pandemic. Last weekend, the Talawanda Swim and Dive teams hosted Little Miami in Hagerstown, Indiana in a tri-meet, but the boys' and girls' teams came away with sweeps after the final races concluded. The boys' meet was particularly exciting as it came down to the final relay, heading into the last leg of the relay. Both the Talawanda team and Little Miami were neck and neck, with the team's best swimmers getting ready to anchor. For the brave, Ben Crowder pulled out his fastest split ever and led Talawanda to the victory and ultimately the meet victory as well. Ben also helped out the team by winning two individual events, on the girls' side, Kenna Mondello, Mercy Patterson, and Marin Patterson all won two individual events as well to lead the charge for the Lady Brave. We'll get to the rest of the winter break scores in just a moment with an update on how the teams fared over the break. But for now, let's look to the future for the Talawanda Athletic Department, starting with the boys' basketball team. This coming week, they will play at Northwest on Tuesday and then versus Ross on Friday and Kings on Saturday. Both those games will be at home. For the girls' team, at Taylor on Monday and then versus Harrison on Wednesday, and they will cap off their week at Dayton Stivers on Saturday. For the wrestling team, they'll have an away try, just one meet this week. That'll be against Mason and Northwest on Thursday. For the bowling team, they host Mount Healthy at home on Thursday at Oxford Lanes, and the academic team will open their season against Edgewood on Wednesday. In a big week upcoming for the hockey team, they will have a top 10 state matchup against number one district rank and number six state ranked Olentangy Liberty. Then this weekend, they will head to Chiller North to play against four opponents. Those opponents will be announced later in the week. Now for an update on how the Talawanda Athletic Department fared over the break. Mm -hmm. 